Hey, how's it going? Good. Yeah, so first and foremost, I really enjoyed the show and especially um, your interplay, the way that you enjoy um, being there, working with each other. What do you like most about this ensemble, about working together? We love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh my gosh, it, it's been so fun. I think we're laughing usually most of the yeah. time when we're we filming yep. together. We have such a good time. I, I was so lucky to be able to be plopped with these guys and, and plopped down and so quickly to get into filming. And it's like we knew each other or something. I mean, yep. we just immediately vibed and had that chemistry. So. It's been really fun. It's been a nice three months for you guys. Not so bad. Yeah, yeah likewise. Th that's something fun. that um, often, sometimes it doesn't work that way, but I think yeah. with all of us, it's been really just such good chemistry. It and was seamless, yeah. It was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it was. Totally. From when we came in. It was very, very cool. And in terms of the setting, um, I really like how you lean into the magical realism elements of the island. It does seem to be a very magical place, a magical setting. So how much of that feels real? How much of the magic do you believe in? Hmm. Uh, well, I was born and raised in Puerto Rico, and I do believe my island is pretty dope and pretty magical. Mm -hmm. So um, the the setting, the exteriors become like another, uh, it's like a protagonist mm -hmm. uh, as well. It's so beautiful, you know, and I think it helped, uh, eleva it elevated the material, yeah. you know, because we're not, uh, working inside, 90% of it is it's outdoors, and we're actually using using real yeah. nature, you know, and, yeah. and it makes everything more rich. So I, I loved it. But you have to compete with the elements, you know. Sometimes <laughs> it's it's a little tricky because the weather can be unpredictable and it's uh, a little crazy. But you have to embrace that, you know. And I think character-wise, it helps you. Oh sure. yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's yeah. challenging sometimes with the weather, but I think the backdrop of the the island being another you know, character yeah. himself really, really yeah. helps. It helps, it helps me get into character. Yeah, and totally. Into, it helps y'all too, so. Yeah. yeah. I really appreciate that the show's from Gemstone, Gemstone Studios, um, female-led, um, telling diverse stories. Why is that so important? I think it's huge. I think it's really important because it's just reflecting what's happening now, you know? It's, it's very, we're in a very modern time. Things are, extremely different and they're forever changing and evolving and I think it's it's in a direct reflection of what you see on your day to day like when you're out so it's kind of refreshing to be able to see that on your screen now and so being a part of this wave of mm -hmm. new leads and women of color and people of color being able to be represented on TV um, and representation in that way is it's stunning it's it's so it's huge for me like I, I think about when I was younger watching TV and thinking of people like who I could look up to and the fact that now I, I, I'm looking at, wow, I might be that person for someone mm -hmm. else watching the show. Um, that's, I can't, I still can't even comprehend that. Like I'm still <laughs> getting my head wrapped around the idea of, of what we're really doing here. It's much deeper than what I might even know right now. Yeah. It's huge. I think it's a responsibility and an opportunity, like yeah. you just said, to, um you know, maybe be that for someone else, mm -hmm. you know, young growing up. So, yeah. It's cool. I've heard that reflected within the plot lines from what I've watched and from what I hear is to come. What have been some of those sort of favorite moments, key episodes, times in which you it feels like you're really telling a modern story? Mm. I could, uh, oh, I go think, ahead, yeah. No, the, you know, I think all, all of the storylines yeah. are pretty well sort of, Thought out? That's yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, there's, there's, there's one with the three ladies from Melrose Place. They play best friends from childhood, right? And then uh, later in life, they reconnect to go to this uh, vacation, and they all come with a baggage <laughs> full of problems. You know that even their best friends, um, they don't even know about each other. And one of them um, goes through this incredible journey of, of realizing that sometimes when you're a people pleaser and you're always taking care of everybody but you don't take care of yourself, it can be very damaging, you know? Mm. So she has to go through this experience to realize, I think it's, I need some me time. Mm. I need to take care, care of myself and make sure that I'm healthy so I can be of service for everybody else. I thought that was very powerful. Um, there's another story that we have about this lady that has this, this family that is in 
turmoil, right? Because she thought she was a fabulous mom, mm -hmm. yeah. but she was actually an absent mother. And how can that affect the upbringing of, yeah. of your children? Yeah. Um, well, that's it. <laughs> well, there's, yeah, not, no, there's not a lot that we can say, but, yeah, but the, I know. The then themes, I realized, stop talking, I'm going to start crying. That's why I want to stop talking. Yeah. This is like close to her. But the, all those yeah. themes, I mean, I think each episode has a, a theme and such a relatable message that all human beings experience it, maybe at one point or another. So, I mean, you yeah. know, it's so relatable, and yeah. I think people are really going to enjoy that aspect of the show. Yeah. But the magical element, how about for the realism as well? I think it's fantastic that your show is using say, real couples, for example. Rosalind, you, your husband gets to come in a bit later on. First time working together, I think. Second time working together ever. Second time, yeah. 15 years, the second time that we actually act together. Wow. And it was, it was a lot of fun. I was in Puerto Rico, and then I knew they were going to come visit him and my kids. They were going to come visit for five weeks, and I just threw it there. I told the, the showrunners, you know, Eric is coming. Um, the show is on hiatus, if there's something, you know. <laughs> maybe you can add it. And then they found a role, he plays a survivalist, and he worked and he loved it. He loved it, it was, it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. So what's something that, you know, I've talked a little bit about what I've enjoyed from the show. What's something that you think an audience will really get out of it? You know, Rosalind at the, um, the TV Guide Fan Favorites events, I, I heard you talking about how the show, you know, it's needed right now. We need this element of fantasy. We need to be a, have a little bit of escape from our real life. What is something that you'd like an audience to look out for? They're, that they can just sit down for an, for an hour with the family and, and enjoy themselves. You know, the, the show makes you think. The show can make you cry. It, you, you're going to laugh at times. Mm -hmm. You're going to learn life lessons. Um, and I think that's what that's what we need. You know, not everything has to be so heavy. Mm -hmm. Not everything has to be about uh, video games and killing people and drugs and you know what I mean and criminals and you know people sometimes you just wanna sit down mm -hmm. and not, not think, you know, and just, yeah. just escape, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Just right. just enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And this is this is a perfect summer show. You know, it's blue skies. Everything is beautiful. Um, the stories are are funny and relatable. Mm -hmm. It's light. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's great. It's needed. Yeah. And so I guess I will ask you lastly, I've, I've really enjoyed to hear from you. Um, in terms of there's so much content, there's so much television, there's so much available to us. I feel like this show is a nice, perfect mix of, you know, you have the name, the old um, IP, the existing show, but it really feels that contemporary and modern. You know, how do you want an audience to experience this? What do you think is the best way to, to dive into the show? I think the best way is honestly to just um, open heart, open eyes. Just come come sit down to have a good time and you'll definitely have that. I mean, the writing, it, it speaks for itself. It, it really does walk the talk. I mean, and even the guest stars, everyone that comes in really goes in on their characters like everyone actually went 100 percent in and it's such a hoot and so fun um and so yeah just just sit down turn on that tv and sit back and enjoy it's it's gonna be a really fun ride so yeah, yeah. and explore what can the island do for you <laughs> Yay! There it is. There it is. <laughs> Hey! There it is. <laughs> what can the island do for you? Oh my God. <laughs> I love really it. Sitting back and enjoying hearing from all of you. Oh, thank, thank you. you very much. It's really wonderful. So sweet. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.